Well, hello all of my crafty friends. I'm here again today with another of our Savor Your Sunday series. So today when I started out, I was looking through some of my sequins, trying to get them all organized. And I was looking at these colors and I just thought they were so pretty. And I was just thinking this would make an amazing card color like those greens and turquoise pinky colors and so this is where the inspiration for today came from all right so what i'm going to do first is i am going to show you guys some of the items we're going to use i'm going to bring in some deco foil yes i decided to play with some deco foil today and this is the emerald watercolor deco foil um that i've had for a long time and I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, I haven't used it very much. I'm going to be using a Versamark um, pen and my Gina K Amalgam ink. In addition to that, we're going to be bringing in the Arteza Mica Powders. Now, this is my first time using them. I'm just opening the box. I did take the plastic off before I started the video, but I thought some of these colors were really really nice so I figured maybe we would give this a try now I have not done a whole lot of work with um the like perfect pearls and things like that but I thought we do it together you know because that's that's kind of where we are so here I am just picking out several colors that I thought kind of went along with the theme of those sequins that I um, looked at and of course you know purple and blue is just it's just gonna happen and then I brought out the May May Made It stamp set this is the new creation stamp set and I am going to also bring out my card base and some card stocks that I have used I'll have these listed below this is some card stock from Cricut and then I brought out some pink card stock as well which is from Recollections and I have already cut these down and today I am actually making an A2 size card so I also brought in some of the deco foil transfer sheets because I wanted to do something a little bit different and I bought in some stick it adhesive so what we're going to do, we're going to use the deco foil transfer sheets and I'm going to try to create a background with it. But before we do that, I am going to take the stick it adhesive and I'm going to place it on the back of this deco foil toner sheet because then once I have cut this, I will not have to worry about trying to use ink, not ink glue guys glue i won't have to worry about trying to use glue in order to get um this adhered so what i'm doing is this when you use the stick it adhesive it has three different places that you can pull away the release paper and so i'm just trying to line that up the best that i can and then releasing the other two parts so that i can try to keep this as even as possible um and get that adhered smoothly to the toner sheet before we go on to creating our um, our image. Now here, I forgot about the first edge of it and I had to go back and pull that down, but it didn't make any um, major issues. So we're going to go in and I'm just going to make sure that I adhere that. Now what will happen is I can cut off that excess piece and I also have the release paper on the other side for after we're done. So now that we have that done, we're going to go into design space. I'm going to go into design space and I am going to look up a image so that I can create my own background. So I went into the edge to edge cartridge and I found two different backgrounds that I liked. One was in the edge to edge cartridge one and one was in edge to edge two. Now today we're going to be using the um, square diagonals one, but I also have the wedding rings one that I can use for a later um, card and all I've done is I have sized these down to like five and a quarter square so that I can use the toner um, sheet and cut both of them on 
an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So once I get that done, I'm going to choose my maker and then I'm gonna use the setting for cardstock for intricate cuts. And that's going to help to ensure that this cuts out really well. Now, once I got that off of the Cricut, I am going to lay it face down and pull the mat away from the cardstock. This works best to ensure that your paper doesn't tear and to make sure that your paper isn't curled. And as you can see, this cut really, really well because a lot of those pieces are coming up with the mat. So this was really, really awesome. So once I get that all pulled away, then we're going to see what we're left with and start working on um, taking this all apart. Now what I will tell you that I found to be easiest and I didn't figure this out at the beginning, the actual only thing that was holding this together was that release paper on the back. So once I pulled that release paper away, all of the excess pieces just fell out. So there's no need to just poke it. As you can see here, I finally figured it out and just pulling the release paper away. Now all of the other pieces um, went went with it so now we're left with everything that we want and i'm going to line that up on my glass mat and i'm going to bring in one of those pink sheets that we cut and i'm going to place it where i want it and then i am going to use the remaining pieces and we can fold those around if we want or you can cut them off so that it adheres to the back i chose to just slice it off once I have that sliced off, I am going to bring in my deco foil and I'm going to line it up with the transfer sheet and then I'm going to cut it and we are going to then take it over to the mink machine which I have off to the side heating up and we are going to run that through and once we get it ran through this is that peel and reveal and it is so amazing now not only is this amazing but that piece that's left over i can now place onto another piece of trans of toner paper and create a second background so instead of wasting it i decided to go ahead and do that as well so that i would have two backgrounds that I could work with either to make another card or to add to this card. So as you can see, that's what we're doing here. I'm just kind of lining up what I want of that transfer. I keep saying transfer and the word is toner, you guys. I um, line up what I wanted on the toner sheet and I'm going to again, run that through my mink machine. And then once we get that, we have absolutely no waste you have another panel that you can use and i just think that that came out so beautiful so now we have those two panels that we're able to use for that so once we get done with that we're going to bring out our stamped images so as you can see i stamped the butterfly three times and i've stamped out the floral images we're going to bring in that versa marker um pen and each of these Arteza mica powder colors and we have this color that's the sapphire blue then we have the amethyst we also have the moss green we have that chameleon green and we have magenta and that chameleon green I think that will work really really well if we did it on some black we may have to come back and try that again and basically what I'm doing is I'm going to take my Versa marker pen on the bullet tip side and I'm just going to start coloring in each of those areas then I'm going to take a paintbrush and I will dip the paintbrush into the mica powders and then I'm just going to literally paint it over the um over the image I'll dust it off and then as I'm getting comfortable with this you'll see we'll start doing more of the image at a time this was really really fun and i will tell you that you see that there's some kind of dustings off on the side where i'm knocking the mica powders off those come off really really easily i just rubbed it very lightly with a mica microfiber cloth and that took away all of the excess powder i also found um one of the things that I have read and seen is that you want to set this with a 
uh, spritz of water. So you'll see that we're going to use a shimmer spray. Oh, that shimmer is so amazing. We're gonna use a shimmer spray to set it, but I also used one of my um, glitter sprays at the end and it worked as an amazing finish so i actually have the card in my hand right now i'm rubbing it there's nothing coming off on my fingers so i will make sure that i have listed below the other um the glitter spray that i used for that as well to use as a finisher and it made it stick very well so here we're going to go and we're going to just continue to work on as you can see i am getting a little more comfortable here and i'm able to do more um of the image at a time and what i found was as long as you're working pretty quickly whatever areas you have that versa marker in that is where it's going to stick and this has I don't think the computer or the video is doing justice when I say um, the shimmer, the, the shine is absolutely amazing. So now we're going to go in, we were working with the magenta, now I'm gonna go in with that amethyst color and we're going to start adding the amethyst onto this next largest flower. And as you can see, I'm just kind of getting it in that general area because like I said, wherever the Versa marker is, that's where it is sticking. So it's a little bit easier to kind of just put it on here. And this was a very fun project. It did not take a huge amount of time to get it done now i did use about five colors so that did make it a slightly longer process but it still was not a huge feat to do now i have the 35 set i want the 60 set it's been out of stock lately but i will be um getting the 60 set when it comes back into stock because i think that these colors are so fun to work with i can't wait to do some things on black cardstock with this and see what else we can create because you guys know i love my shimmer and i love my shine and this was so my style so as we are going through i'm going to show you guys pretty much all of the coloring i left it all in for you guys today i shouldn't call it coloring what do we call this painting i don't know we're using a brush you guys tell me what we're gonna call this mica powder shimmer um, technique. So I'm going in and we, and you can see there, that's where I'm starting to bring in the micro, micro fiber cloth, try to say that three times fast. And I am um, dusting away some of that color and it worked out really, really well. So now we're gonna move on to doing some of the leaves and with the leaves, I use the moss green as well as that chameleon green. And the chameleon green is kind of like a holographic color. What it does is it shifts in the light and it was really, really, really amazing. I cannot wait. That's the one that I want to try with the dark colors. I think there are two or three chameleon colors in the 35 set there are a few more in the 60 set um but i really want to see what that looks like on dark cardstock so it is um sunday may 24th when you guys are seeing this so i hope you guys are having an amazing memorial day weekend i'd like to know what you guys have planned for this weekend um and you know, what kind of crafty things you guys have been doing this week. It seems like the year is going by fairly fast, although we've been in quarantine the majority of the time. So we are still working on some of the leaves here, kind of trying to get those all um, colored in for you guys. And like I said, as I got a little bit more comfortable, I noticed that I didn't have to be so meticulous with where the powders were going because they were dumping off very, very easy. And I could use the microfiber cloth to kind of get all of the excess out of the way. Once I learned that I could do that, I was able to work a lot quicker 
And once I kind of got a feel for how long the Bursa marker um, stayed wet, that also helped a lot. So I, I know that there is with Ranger who has the Perfect Pearls, they have a lettered kind of embossing sticky ink that's supposed to be made especially for kind of like these type of powders. I've not used that before, but I'm thinking about possibly getting it just to kind of see if it remains sticky longer to do a comparison of that. So if that is something that you guys would like to see, please let me know. Um, also, we were supposed to, um, I was a few days late and you guys, please excuse me. We uh, have to choose our winner for the um, haul video. So now that I am in the midst of doing the coloring, we are going to go ahead and choose the winner or I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys who the winner is. So I was not able to um, come on and do a whole live video and that was because the week was just very, very um, hectic for me this past week. So I did not get an opportunity to um, do that as I would typically do but i'm so happy that you guys enjoyed that video please let me know if there is something in particular that you guys would love to see me work with first or any type of card idea that you guys have and our um winner for this was for the stencil and the stamp set with the coordinating die the winner for that is Tracy Gambino. Tracy Gambino. Um, I will make sure that I have that added at the end of this uh, video in the description box. But Tracy, congratulations. I hope that you enjoy this. Please make sure that you email me at crafttherapist at gmail.com so that I can get your information and get that out in the mail to you guys. So, Tracy, congratulations. Um, like I said, my email will be listed in the description box. Please make sure that you contact me within the next week to claim your prize so that I can get that out in the mail to you guys. I really enjoyed doing um, the haul video and sharing some of those things with you guys, as well as being able to share some of the goodies that I had. So I definitely want to know what you guys think, how you guys enjoyed it, what you guys would like to see in the future, in addition to any of your um, more crafty questions. We did a live uh, last week and I really, really enjoyed it. So you guys have any additional questions, please make sure that you guys um, submit them in the comments and I will gather them and maybe we'll do another crafty chat. I love how this butterfly came out. Those colors were beautiful. And like I said, that chameleon green is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoy these mica powders. Please let me know what you are thinking about them. So we're kind of getting to the end of the coloring for those. And like I said, you know, at this point, you can see I pretty much got my groove. I'm able to do half of the butterfly at one time and get it done. This, I think, once you get the hang of it and have an opportunity to play with it a little bit, you become very proficient in it and it takes no time at all. So if you are in one of those moods where you want to color, but you don't want to take the amount of time that it takes to Copic color or the amount of time that it might take to watercolor or color pencils because, you know, those are kind of relaxing mediums that sometimes take us a while to do. This, I think, is an amazing alternative. It's almost like using embossing powders to do your coloring, um, but you don't have the heat set in between. So I think that this was a, a wonderful, wonderful um like alternative way to 
do some coloring and I was glad that I got a chance to try it out for the first time with you guys and I'm glad that it worked out because you know initially I was like oh I'm doing this on camera and I know it's gonna go up I really hope that it works out really well so and this is the magenta and the chameleon green I used for this one and then on this last one is where we will bring in some of those purple shades so we'll have three of our different butterflies so I did the blue and the chameleon the chameleon and the pink and then the pink and the purple for the last one just to kind of tie all of those colors in together and to have them similar to our um, floral arrangement that we have and to try to tie it all into our background. I think that um, at first sight it's it is a lot of shimmer and a lot of shine. It was not the easiest to photograph this with all of the foiling and all of the mica powders and everything that was going on but I just don't think that any amount of photographing or videoing will be able to do this justice. However, I will have photos and um, a short video to try to show it on um, social media. So here is the finished product. I just love the shimmer. Like it's just so much shimmer. It just hits the light and it's beautiful. So once I got done with this, I am going to actually fussy cut this. Um, I fussy cut all the images out after I went ahead and got everything um, set. I did spray it prior to doing the fussy cutting because if you don't, it will rub off on your fingers. So now we're gonna bring back in that panel that I did with the deco foil and we're going to start looking at what type of an arrangement we're going to want to do and what type of sentiment we're going to want to have on our card so of course you guys know that usually when I do butterflies I like to have it kind of popped up so I'm bending one of the wings and I'm just going to adhere one side of the butterfly down and then I am going to use some foam tape and I'm going to pop up that floral arrangement in the lower left hand corner um, of the card panel so I'm trying to get into the habit of using my grid lines to help me line things up, but sometimes it just doesn't work out very well for me. Do you guys find that your craft mats are beneficial for you or do you forget that you have the grid lines there? I feel like I do a lot of forgetting that I have it there. So now you can see this is the level of shimmer that we're at now. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down to a card mat. Um, and again, this is the Cricut, um, this is a Cricut Deluxe Paper Pack and I will have that, it, I will have that in the description box below. Words are so hard today. They're always hard when I get on video. I don't know why. And I decided to adhere that a little bit differently. I didn't do it centered. I did it to where the, uh, card base and the mat were adhered together on the left hand side and the extra was showing at the top and on the right just to do something a little bit different today and I went ahead and I adhered that onto the card base and now we are going to go on to working on the next part of it I'm kind of thinking whether I wanted to make it a landscape card but I did decide to keep it a side folding card and so I have taken a strip of the extra panel that we created and I placed that on the inside of the card and I just used the excess to wrap it all the way around and then I placed that onto the card mat once I have that done I am going to next bring in my misty and we're going to stamp the inside of our card and I went in and I used this sentiment from the stamp set and it says therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation the old has passed away behold the new has come and that is 2nd Corinthians 5 17 so I decided to stamp that on the inside of this card and two additional butterflies because you guys know how I feel about my butterflies I absolutely love them so I 
stamped two additional ones inside and I used my Gina K Amalgam ink to do that. Now, once I did that with the Gina K Amalgam ink, I brought in my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen to put some shimmer on them since there is no color, you know, it's just the pink of the paper. So I decided to bring in some shimmer and I shimmered all over both of the butterflies. Once I got done adding all the shimmer to the butterflies, I am going to then bring in um, one of my Sakura Jelly Roll pens and I am going to just start doing some dot detail all over this card panel. Kind of the buzz lines for the bees and I'm going to add some buzz lines at the bottom and coming away from the sentiment. Just everywhere that I could think of, I kind of created that uh, golden dot detail just to add something extra to this card. You know, we were blinging it out, so I wanted to bling it out really, really good. So now that we have that part done, and I'm trying to get you guys a good view of that, we're going to lastly work on our sentiment. So what I have done here is I have used a piece of fun foam, and I cut this out with my Cricut, and I also cut out a U with um, some vellum and then I cut out a piece with the toner paper and ran it through in some gold. Now I was going to add some of those gold diamonds that popped out of the inside of our, um, our panel that we did but I decided that I would use that on another card. So once that is done I went ahead and I adhered that to the fun foam and the fun foam was adhesive backed so then I peeled the release paper from that and I adhered it to our vellum. Once I have that adhered to our vellum then we can go ahead and adhere that to our um, card front. So now we have additional shimmer. I swear I was just really in a shimmery, glittery, shiny, blingy mood when I created this card. We're going to add that onto the front of our card and then we will be able to add our inside panel to our card base. And once we get the inside panel added to our card base, we are going to end where we started, which was with those sequins that gave me the whole idea for this color um, system, this color combination that I kind of was going for today. We will add those and then that is going to be the end of our card. So the one thing that I wanted to know is, you see the card now, we're going to bring those sequins back in. Did I do it justice? Did I match up the sequins? Do you see where I was uh, going with the color combinations? So I'm just going to scatter those sequins. They are just some flat back sequins. Um, I'm pretty sure that I got these from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to scatter them all over the back of our card and once we get all of those adhered down I will show you a close-up of the card as it is finished and that is it for our Savior Sunday for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope that this was something new for you. I hope it was as fun for you as it was for me. And I hope that this inspires you to create something today. I would love to talk to you guys in the description box below. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I absolutely love communicating with you. All of my information is listed um, in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys again really, really soon in our next video. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. Bye-bye.